we got some food time. Hi guys, it's Christy and welcome back to my channel. I've been wanting to do this video for quite a long time now and I'm finally doing it. I'm reviewing only DIY clay food theme slimes and I'm so excited about this because I love food slimes and I also love DIY clay slimes. So I thought I would bring the two together. And because this is a food themed video, huge shout out to Soul Sisters for sponsoring today's video. More info about them later on after we get into some of the food slime. And for today's post notification shout out, there are two of you guys and the first one goes out to Annalise Mattis and I'm just Zoe. Thank you guys so much for having your post notifications on and if you guys want to get shout out in my next video make sure you click the little bell after you subscribe and comment down down below when you have done that. And I think that's about it for this intro. We have a ton of slimes to get into so let's just get right into the slime reviews. Woo! Starting off today's video we have a package from Snoop Slimes. My package took about six days to arrive. The slime was nicely bowl wrapped and they included their business card along with some candies and borax. I ordered a six ounce of their blueberry waffle, which is a DIY clay slime. My total came to $15.81, including shipping. So the base is a thick slime scented with a blueberry scent. And the waffle is so cute. It's a marbled waffle that just looks so pretty. And I just added this on top of the slime and then added the clear syrup that was included. The container for the syrup did break while it was in transit, so there wasn't much slime left, but it still worked out. The slime looks so pretty. The color scheme is definitely so me. And at first, I was having a little bit of an issue mixing the clay into the base. The base was extra thick and the clay wasn't helping to soften it up. I kept trying to mix it, but it just ended up turning into that rippy, stiff texture. The texture wasn't my favorite, but it can definitely be fixed easily. It just didn't really mix very well. Maybe I just got a bad batch. I don't know if other people had the same issue. But other than that, I loved everything else about this slime. Next up, we have a package from Chameleon Slimy. I ordered a six ounce DIY clay slime for $12.86, including shipping, which is a really good price. They included their business card, which is so cute, a care sheet, candies, and borax. The package took about 14 days to arrive, which is pretty lengthy. But anyways, I love their logo and handwritten label. It's so cute. They included a little blueberry pancake stack, which I added to the slime, as well as a bag of chocolate clay shavings. And I also noticed there were little beads on the bottom of the slime, which gave the slime a very unique texture. And it smells like blueberries too. It smells delish. I was also having a tough time stretching this slime out. The base was overactivated and the clay wasn't really helping to soften the slime. I wasn't in love with the texture after mixing the clay. I had to add a slime softener in to try and get it to become a little stretchier. And it still wasn't very soft and stretchy, but it helped a little bit. But I loved everything else about this package. And seeing all these food slimes is making me super hungry. So I have some of my very own chicken alfredo, but it's not just any chicken alfredo. I'm adding kimchi seasoning mix to add a little bit of flavor to my dish. Mmm, that is so good. Today's video is sponsored by Soul Sisters Kimchi Seasoning Mix. This seasoning mix is amazing because it's a naturally fermented tangy spice and it goes on pretty much anything. And are you guys ready for this? It's 100% vegan, it's plant-based, it's non-GMO, and it's also rich in vegetable probiotics. So it's a super healthy seasoning mix. And not only is it healthy, but it is so tasty. It literally took my Alfredo to the next level by making it kind of like a spicier Cajun Alfredo. I've tried it on salads, chicken, pasta, noodles, so many different things, and it tastes amazing on everything. So if you guys are interested in checking them out, they're currently available on Amazon. I'll have my link in the description box below so you can check them out. Now. 
I'm gonna finish the rest of my tasty Alfredo, but let's get right back on into the slime reviews. Moving on, we have a package from Slime Shop by Madeline. I ordered a six ounce DIY clay slime for $17.60, including shipping, and it took about 16 days to arrive, which is pretty lengthy. The slimes were nicely bubble wrapped and they included some candies, their business card, borax, and a free slime. The free slime they provided is a clear fishbowl slime with some fruit fimo slices in it. It's scented with a light fruity scent. It smells really good. It was slightly sticky at first, but after I added in some activator, it turned out perfect. This was really good for free slime. It's very thick and it has a slight crunch to it. So I ordered banana Nutella waffle. I love their logo and label, it's so cute. The base is a thick and glossy slime and it came with this cute clay waffle, banana and chocolate Fimo slices, and a chocolate banana charm. The clay piece mixed into the base really well and it turns into a soft and creamy butter slime after mixing. It has an amazing consistency and texture with some good pops and it's super spreadable too. The one negative thing about this slime is the scent. I really didn't care for it. It kind of smells like an old chocolatey scent. It doesn't smell like banana at all and it says that it's supposed to be a banana and Nutella scented. But other than that and the long shipping time, I thought this was a great slime. And here we have a package from Slime Fantasies. I ordered two five ounce slimes for a total of $25.33, including shipping. They included their business card, borax, and candy. The slimes were nicely bubble wrapped and it took about four days to arrive. Super fast shipping. So I realized these aren't DIY clay slimes, but they are still food themed slimes, so I thought I would include them. So first up, we have fried churro cheesecake. I've seen a lot of YouTubers review this slime and I was so excited to try it out. It came with a little glitter packet, which was a cute touch. The top portion is a snow fizz slime while the bottom is a butter slime. And this was just a lot of fun to mix together. It has a very unique texture at first when you're mixing it because the butter slime is creamy while the snow fizz slime texture is a little more rough but it turns into a nice and creamy butter fizz slime after mixing. I also love the scent. It smells just like the name. This was a great slime. The next slime is Tikka Masala. I was so interested when I saw this slime because it says it's scented just like Tikka Masala. It came with a bag of green and red clay shavings that I just added in. This is a snow fizz floam slime, which is such a unique texture. It was slightly sticky at first, but after I added in a little bit of activator, it turned out perfect. This slime has some good pops and sizzles. It's not overly crunchy like floam slimes because of the snow fizz, but I still loved the texture. As for the scent, it kind of smells like tikka masala. It would have been amazing if the scent was stronger. It kind of smells like carrots to me, but with a spice. I still thought these slimes were great though. And here we have a package from Daisy Chain Slimes. Packaging was amazing. They included their business cards and care sheet, which looks so professional. They also included some candies and borax. I ordered an eight ounce DIY clay slime for $19.88, including shipping, and it took about seven days to arrive. They included a free slime, which looks so pretty. It reminds me of a Bingsu bead slime, but the beads just look a little bit smaller. It has amazing pops and it's so crunchy and it just looks so pretty with all the iridescent beads in it. I'm also obsessed with the scent. It has a light, sweet, fruity scent to it. It was an amazing free slime.
So I purchased an eight ounce of painted pretzels and I have to say this was probably one of my favorite slimes from today's video. The base is a thick eight ounce slime and it comes with these clay yogurt pretzels. These are so adorable and it also comes with a sprinkle bag which I just added on top. Such a cute concept. The clay pieces took a little bit of time to mix into the base but after they did, this slime turned into a nice slay slime with some really nice pops. It's very holdable and thick too, which I love. One of my favorite things about this slime is definitely the scent. It smells just like a salted pretzel. It's a strong scent and it smells so, so good. I really love this one. And lastly, we have a package from Dope Slimes. I ordered their banana split slime, which arrived in six days. Everything was nicely bubble wrapped and they included a free slime. This is a red slime and I want to say it has a fruit punch scent. It smells really good. It's a very clay heavy slime. It's probably about 90% clay, but I love it because it's very holdable and spreadable. It was so nice of them to include it for free in my package. I paid $30.89 for the slime package, but y'all, it was so worth it. So this is the banana split DIY. It comes with a vanilla scoop slime, which felt like a very thick cloud cream slime, as well as a strawberry scoop slime, which also had a thick cloud cream consistency. I then added in the two clay bananas they provided and I topped it off with some whipped cream and drizzled on some chocolate sauce. This is just such a fun DIY to put together. After that, I just topped it off with some rainbow sprinkles and of course, you gotta put the cherry on top. The slime looks amazing when it's put together. I wanted to eat it, it just looks so realistic. Not only was this a great DIY kit, but the slime itself is amazing after everything's mixed together. It turns into a thick, holdable butter cloud cream slime, or at least that's what it feels like to me. It's thick, but also smooth and spreadable at the same time. Okay, this was definitely my favorite from today's video. I thought all of these slimes were great, but this just took slime to another level and I am so obsessed with the texture that the slime turned into after mixing everything. It also has an amazing banana split scent. I get hints of the vanilla, banana, and strawberry all at once while playing with this slime. It's incredible. And that's all that I have for you guys this week. Thank you so much for coming back to my channel and watching this entire video. And if you aren't already a member of the K-Squad, hit the red subscribe button down below and join the fam. We'd love to have you guys. Stay tuned for more slime videos coming your way. I love you guys so, so much. And I'll see you all in my next video. Bye, guys.